Hey everybody, I'm Yukon Cornelius. I was in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> Not really, I was in another kid's cartoon. That was G.I. Joe, a real American hero, where nothing bad ever happened. I'm Snow Job. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about G.I. Joe Classified Snow Job. Hope you like that little intro. But today we're not just going to be talking about Snow Job. We're going to be talking about Snow Serpent. That's right, G.I. Joe Snow Serpent. But we're not going to be talking about this Snow Serpent. No way. We're going to be talking about this Snow Serpent because we're talking about G.I. Joe Classified Series figures. That's right. We got both of them. And if you follow Return of the Nerds on Instagram, they get everything a little bit early and they can get it over to you really quick. So give them a follow and check them out just to see if it's something that you want to look into. Anyways, here are the boxes. They look really, really cool. I love them. There's all kinds of accessories. Now, these were kind of like the deluxe figures, so they are a little bit more than your standard figures. All right, so we got these two guys out of the package, and we're going to take a closer look. We got Snow Job and Snow Serpent, and you know what? The funny thing is I do have a couple of these Snow Serpents from when I was a kid, um, but I don't have much accessories except for that backpack, and the I don't know why I don't have Snow Job. I'm pretty sure I, I had them. I don't know what I did with them. But anyways, this but I've been looking forward to getting this G.I. Joe Snow Job since it came out. I think he looks incredible. Look at that. He kind of like the face sculpt to me is like an ode back to those 12 inch G.I. Joes because he's got like the full head of hair, the beard and everything. And it looks really, really cool. And I just keep thinking, like, wouldn't it be cool if he came in, like, a bluish outfit and then we could, like, brand him Adventure Team, the one that searched for the Yeti. But anyways, there he is wearing his hat down like that. And this is pretty cool. The only thing that I was wondering about was this little white spot on the back of his hair, which makes me think that was a paint issue or could just be snow. But look at those buckles on that thing. That thing looks incredible. And then right down to the details at the bottom now he does come with this pistol here which is pretty cool and he comes all decked out he's got his rifle with the removable clip right here which is pretty cool so then he comes with this backpack which is actually really cool it's very detailed it doesn't really have any like um paint apps on it or anything like that he comes with a couple of extra fists and then he comes with these goggles which are kind of nice because they got that little reflective wear on there which are really neat and they work on kind of both heads you can see in the intro i had it on the other head under the um under the hood but this is probably the head that it's supposed to be on and i think it looks really really cool with that reflective and then of course you can always throw that on over which is pretty cool and then of course he comes with his ski poles and not to be outdone by gi joe the snow serpent comes with a boatload of accessories too he comes with this backpack which is similar to bazookas which has the bazooka and the rockets on there he comes with this headgear piece that looks like a wolf we'll just pull that off and then he comes with this cloak which is like a wolf skin and then underneath you can see he's got this like pouch that drapes over the front he's fully buckled in and stuff like that and then um he's got the peg for his uh, backpack and he's got this fur on the arms which is really really cool and if you compare them to the original which i'm going to do you can see that man they did a pretty good job of matching that up now the thing is they did get the cobra logo on one arm but this guy never had mine never had like that little patch on the right arm but anyways overall i think they did a pretty good job they didn't match the colors exactly but i think that looks fantastic now the thing is he comes with the cobra snowboard which is pretty cool and it's pretty decked out with some cool graphics on there and then he also has his snowshoes and then he comes with this rifle that he's holding here with the removable clip and then he also comes with another machine gun here i almost lost this clip because it fell out of the bag and it was in the box Luckily, it shook around. He does come with an extra magazine, and he comes with this cool little knife. The only problem is, I don't know where to put the extra magazine, and I don't know where the knife's supposed to go. I've been looking around. Uh, maybe I need to watch. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But anyways, just like all the Cobra guys, they have eye protection, but then they need goggles to go over their eye protection. So anyways, he comes with his two sets of eye protection, and uh, I thought for sure the goggles were going to be for an extra head. But I guess if you look at it, the original had that extra pair of goggles as well. So that makes all the sense in the world why they gave them to him. 
And if anybody's wondering like how I got this awesome snow background, I just took out one of my kitchen garbage bags and just slung it up behind them. I think it worked out pretty well. It does shake around in the wind a little bit, but you know what? I think it's fine. Anyways, everybody, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, have a fantastic day.